Hello everyone and welcome to this special reading. So I did this reading once before and got a lot of messages, a lot of donations. People actually loved it. So I might make this a regular on the channel. Um, yeah, so we're going to be looking at your person's energy and also your energy. So I'm doing both sides in this particular reading, okay? Uh, this is not necessarily a twin flame reading. This is going to be what comes out if you are meant to find it. Well, good. It might be your message. So let's see on their side what energy and then on your side. Good. Wheel of Fortune on their side and the High Priestess on your side. Guys, okay. Definitely an important important spiritual emotional connection between the two of you this is faded this is exactly what i'm feeling um seeing these two cards intuitively as a do i do feel like this is about uh, a long distance connection it started long distance maybe right now you both feel like you are in the unknown about when things are going to be happening for the two of you. But this is two people that are communicating right now. Uh, so you could met you could have met this person online. It could have been it could been anything. But there's this feeling of two people talking together, uh, planning to meet each other in the future, not really knowing when this is going to happen. That's why the High Priestess is here. High Priestess is, you know, the unknown. We're riding the wave of the unknown. We don't really know. So with the Wheel of Fortune, things are moving. You're both taking decisions. You're both trying to make the other person fit into your life, into the 3D. And I really like it. Um, powerful energy let's be honest this is definitely powerful so okay let's start and see on their side what is happening what do we need to know about their energy okay okay four cards wanted to come out so we have the eight of swords the two of wands five of cups and ace of pentacles so let's start with the eight of swords and the two of wands, okay? They're definitely in their head a lot about this move. They might be feeling stuck right now, but they're contemplating the idea of traveling to meet you. I just feel like right now they're in their head a lot about it, okay? So it might be hard to take action. I do feel like this is someone you communicate with a lot, like texting, DMing, emailing, calling, maybe you fall asleep on the phone with them. Uh, the five of cups in the reverse, and the Ace of Pentacle. This person wants to leave behind their life, literally to come be with you and have this brand new beginning, okay? Five of Cups in the reverse to me is an energy of someone that is maturing, learning from their past mistake, wanted to, wanting to be um, someone you can run to for advice. They want it to be comfortable for you. They want to make you comfortable. They want to make space for you in their life. And I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing right now. Um, Eight of Swords is a transformative energy. Sometimes it looks scary to some people, but it's really about trying to get out of our head a little bit. And it might be hard right now because you're not able to see each other in person. Um, but I definitely like it. The two of Wands, yeah, could be about a twin flame connection, but this is not about two people uh, in separation right now. This is definitely two people communicating. It feels like a new situation, maybe a couple months, maybe a year, but I do feel like it's about two people who never met in the physical world, okay? But you're about to. Uh, we'll see when. We'll try to look at, at timestamps and all. But with the Ace of Pentacles, there is a brand new beginning that will happen in the real world, okay? Uh, not in the... You know what I mean when I say the real world. Uh, it's still the real, real world if you're communicating with them, you know? Uh, yeah, Eight of Cups on your side. I think you're also willing to meet them halfway. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse for you. 
You want to get out of your head. You want this new beginning, okay? It's been hard. I do feel like it's been really hard for you um, to be patient. You are both in the same state of mind, feeling like it makes no sense that you guys are not together physically right now. There's the two of swords here, a lot of waiting, a lot of contemplating. Uh, and we have the eight of cups. You want to meet them. I do feel like there could be talks about meeting each other halfway or how are we going to, where are we going to meet? Are we going something special? Uh, are you coming to my place? Am I coming to your place? What are we doing? Okay, this is the talk here. Uh, we have two eights already. Two, two, two eights. So that could be definitely important. Um, with the eight of cups, there could be a feeling of you walking away from something. Maybe you're fed up of your nine to five job of what's happening in your life right now. We have the strength card and the four of wands. The connection between the two of you is really special. There is this, again, the spiritual connection. Uh, and there is a lot of love. A lot of talks about, do you want to get married one day? What is your vision on having a family? Do you want to build a home? There's definitely talks about moving in together in the future. Okay, this is also the 1111 card, um, a connection that was meant to be. I'm going to put this card right here because it's so pretty and I really like it. The connection between two people when I see the four of wands, it's a perfect balance between the feminine and masculine energy. It's not about gender, it's just the perfect match of balanced energy and i really like it beautiful communication noticing that you have a lot in common with that person um and talking with them feels natural you feel seen you feel heard i think that distance is definitely the biggest struggle when it comes to this particular situation so let's pick a couple cards and see the common energy and we'll take another deck after to see the potential outcome and dig a little bit deeper what is the energy connecting the two of you this could definitely be an air sign a water sign hmm. i'm hearing pisces pisces moon uh I don't know why I'm hearing that. There's definitely about someone who is highly intuitive and manifesting this reunion. It's like you can both picture it perfectly, how it will happen when you uh, see each other for the first time. And I think that you're really hanging on to that, to that feeling. And it makes me feel, I'm smiling right now, it makes me feel all warm and comfortable. It's, it's really special, it's really unique. Uh, the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the four of pentacles in the reverse. It's not, there's no question here. You don't want to be single. You want to be with that person. There, you are deaf. You are both lowering your boundaries when it comes to each other because you feel really comfortable. There is this trust energy that was practically instant. And I don't know if you are like that with everybody. I do feel like it's particular to the two of you. It's like, I don't know you. I never met you, but I do feel like I've, I've known you all my life. I was meant to find someone like you. It's really special. Four of pentacles in the reverse, nine of pentacles in the reverse. There's going to be a union here. The connection is going to be intent, instant when you both meet. And I think you both know that. That's it. It's like no questions asked. I am not waiting to see how I feel in person. I actually know how I feel. I just want it to happen faster. You could have been, I feel it's kind of a new connection, but there's this feeling of we've been patient. We've been waiting and waiting. Um, if we can only just make this happen, uh, plan a road trip, book a plane, you know, um, a plane ticket, sorry. 
I'm looking at these cards and I do feel like this is a, a really intense situation. Give me another one. Yeah, this is a really intense situation. We have the Queen of Wands. You want to talk about intense and the Seven of Pentacles. I was just saying that you guys have been so patient. You're being patient, but you just want to be together physically. The attraction is out of this world. You both think that the other person is like the sexiest, most attractive person you've ever seen. Um, they're, they might not be your usual type. There's just something about them. Uh, you could be both uh, really creative people, really passionate people. I don't think you fall in love easily. It's that particular connection. Um, it feels like a, a soulmate reunion, you know? Talk after a couple talks, seeing each other's picture, maybe, you know, uh, video chatting. I don't know what you did, but there was this warm feeling inside you of, okay, this is it. This is my person. I'm not uh, asking myself more questions. I don't care if people around me think I'm crazy. Uh, I'm crazy for you. That's something I absolutely know. But yeah, there is this distance between the two of you for sure. Could have started talking during COVID or just before. Um, I know we're still in COVID, but you know, that time where everybody was on lockdown. Let's take another deck because I want to know more about the situation. I want to know the potential outcome. What is happening? Nine of Swords in reverse, finally getting out of your head, finally closing an important cycle. Uh, I do feel like when you guys meet, when you guys connect, you're not going to be able to just go back. This is going to be impacting the rest of your life. This is definitely a powerful energy. Ten of Cups, yeah. You don't care. You don't care if it's complicated. You don't care if it's time consuming, if it costs a lot of money to get there. Uh, it might be, you know, a problem right now. It might be really complicated to plan this particular trip to see them, this particular date or whatever. But when you meet this person, when you leave behind what you have right now, because there's this feeling of I'm ready to start a new life. I'm ready to leave behind what I have. But you both build something stable in your own respective lives. So I feel like that's why you're both in your head a lot right now. Like, how am I going to do it? I have a job, I have my family, I have my friends, but at the end of the day, I do feel alone if I'm not with you. So how are you going to make this work? There's going to be a lot of sacrifice um, when it comes to planning and balancing this energy, but you both want to make it work and you both want this 10 of cups, you know, uh, happiness. It's right there with that person. That's what you feel and that's what they're feeling also. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, Jim, listen. Exactly what I was saying. You're going to make this work because you love each other. This is the type of situation where love is enough. I saw that so many times in my life and heard that like love isn't enough in some particular case. But in that situation, love is stronger. <laughs> Definitely. And I know it sounds cheesy. There's going to be talks about getting married. There's going to be talks about signing legal papers, about moving in together. How are we going to make this work? Um, you guys are strong enough to make a long distance relationship work. But it's not going to take long before you make a move of finally uh, mixing both your lives. I don't know how you're going to do it. And it might seem impossible right now, definitely. But you are going to make this work with the King of Wands. In a couple years, couple months, you're going to be looking back at this particular time in your life. And you're going to be laughing. Literally, but I don't feel right now you want to laugh about it. I think that there's definitely a lot of pain, a lot of stress, uh, you know, a lot of questions like, why did I have to meet someone who lives so far away? 
Like, why did I have to fall in love with someone who, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of sacrifice. Definitely. But at the end of the day, it was fated. It was your destiny to meet this person. And I feel like this is the kind of energy where people are going to be celebrating you. You might have been talking to people or like just a couple friends or maybe only one friend, a family member about this situation. And I do feel like sometimes people make you feel a little bit crazy. You're like, I know I sound crazy. I know I don't know this person, but I have to listen to my intuition. I have to listen to this calling I have or else if I just move on from this uh, connection, I'm just, I'm going to look back and regret it. I definitely know that. Um, and that's why the five of cups is here in the reverse. It's not a warning. The tarot is never a warning, but it's like, don't miss out on this opportunity to get to know this person in the 3D because you might regret it. And I think that, you know, right now, you don't even need to tell me that this is a once in a lifetime thing. The person who needs to hear this message, you know that. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's going to be traveling. There's going to be communication back and forth for a while, okay? Um, I do feel like you already started ta talking about, you know, dates a month. That would be good for the two of you to actually meet. Um, but there's still going to be, you know, talks. A lot of communication. The number eight is here one two, three, four, five, maybe more than five times, if I'm not mistaken. But eight is a really important number. So the month of August, I don't know if eight is an important number for you. Eight is the infinite loop. It's the confirmation that this particular connection is definitely strong and there is a spiritual connection between the two of you like two soulmates finally meeting um eight of wands to me is like you're gonna meet in person and there's gonna be fireworks it's gonna be instant the attraction uh communication is gonna be easy it's actually one of your strong uh assets between the two of you in that relationship communication and that is because you had to be long distance for a while. So you guys learned to communicate. You guys learned to be patient. And that is actually going to be an asset for you. It's going to be something that helps the relationship uh, become stronger and stronger. Yeah, Page of Wands, you both know the potential. You're both looking at each other being like, oh my God, I've been waiting for someone like you. Page of Wands is looking at his wands like there are so many possibilities, infinite possibilities for the things that we could create together, for the type of life that we can create together. And I do feel like this person is so passionate, uh, driven by their passion, doing things from their heart. Listen, Queen of Sword, Two of Cups, and nine of cups came out of the deck. This is your soulmate. This is definitely your soulmate. I feel like the next couple months is going to be kind of a queen of sword time. To me, personally, it's about dealing with the things that you have to deal with. Paperwork, uh, putting money aside to be able to travel, uh, creating space for each other in both your lives. But nine of cups and two of cups... You're both wishing. Your wish is to be with that person and they're wishing the same thing. This is your soulmate, my love. I think you know it. I think you don't even need me to tell you that. And the Nine of Cups is always here to tell you you're going to get what you want. But you have to be willing to buckle up because the road to get to that wish, the road to get to that Ten of Cups life is going to be intense. It's going to be intense. It's not going to be a straight line of happiness and rainbows. There's going to be lots of ups and downs. But I think you're both ready to face that. You're definitely dealing with someone who is really strong emotionally. And you also are two survivors that have been through a lot. And I think that you definitely connect with them on that. Uh, maybe you... 
<sighs> I don't know if you've been through a loss or this person has been through a really traumatic loss, but there's something about you understand me a way that not many people do. I feel seen and heard with you. Uh, and I don't want to lose that. Definitely. Let's take, let's see if we have one more message. Do we have an important message? Okay, I wanted three cards. I have three cards. Two of Pentacles, Justice, and the Four of Wands again. So the Justice card is here two times in that particular deck. Four of Wands, two times. So definitely notice the sign. I feel like you've been noticing the signs from the universe. This is such a powerful card. And I do feel like this could be someone that you end up marrying with the Justice card two times and the Four of Wands two times. You don't need and you don't have to want to get married legally, of course, but there's this feeling of we have each other. I'm not giving up on you, okay? And the Two of Pentacles is here to tell you it's going to take a while. You only have two hands. You have to be patient. You're going to have to be even more patient than you already been. And you have to buckle up. It's going to be an intense ride. But again, another infinite symbol here. Another eight. Eight is a really important number. August or any connection you have with the number eight could be really important in that specific connection. So again, this is about two people talking right now. Um wanting to meet uh, in person and wanting to create a solid and grounded life. And I think that the outcome is going to be really positive and your life is going to be changing forever. I don't know who this message is for, but I know that someone needed to hear this confirmation because you've been in your head a lot about that. Losing sleep, uh, not fe not having much appetite, feeling a little bit lost, feeling like it's unfair, um, feeling like you're wasting your time not being with this person, but it's the weight. This is definitely worth the weight and the effort, my love. Okay. Take care of yourself. We'll talk really soon. Make sure to like this video, especially if you watch till the end and I greatly appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.